Hey, it's James. Welcome back. The only way on or off Bashan Island is by ferry boat. A northern and southern dock bookend the island and keep it feeling four or five hours away from the big smoke of Seattle when it's really only one hour. While it is mandatory to traverse these docks to get on or off the island, few people know what's living underneath them. It's raining in the northwest, go figure, but I'm braving it to find out just what's living underneath the North End Dock. Now diving, fishing, and other underwater activities are prohibited around this area. There's nothing to say I can't put a camera just over the side of the dock that has its own little propellers. I moved back down the dock a couple hundred feet, just to make sure the ROV doesn't get tangled in anything. And gently lower her to the water's edge. Once she's in the water, I can use the propellers to adjust what the camera sees. And we swim down 20 feet to the bottom. The water is beautifully clear today. It's much harder for marine organisms to grow in a sandy or silty bottom. Most things prefer structure, that's rocks, reef, even pilings somewhere with a firm foothold. But it always pays to peruse the sand and muck. One just might stumble upon a sea pen. What's better than finding a single beautiful sea pen? But a garden of pens. Gorgeous creatures of the deep, it's easy to see where they get their name. They look almost like the quill of old protruding from a bottle of ink ready to be drawn by some marine poet to scribe a stylish verse. An unusual looking animal, indeed, but all the more unusual upon closer examination. These are colonial cnidarians. Each pen is composed of hundreds of small polyps resembling sea anemones when looked at almost with a microscope. These hundreds of little anemones build this structure together and share it like a condominium. So looking at one is almost like looking at a building. They feed in the same way anemones feed, a stinging microscopic animal in the water that is washed to them in current. Just below the tide line in a sub tidal ecosystem, these pens flourish in the sand and muck. The polyps use a shared foot that digs into the sand and keeps them in one location, even though the tides and currents may whip them about. I've been exploring the underwater world around Vashon Island for years, and I've never seen a concentration such as this anywhere else. curiosity satiated, and my jacket beginning to soak through, I pulled the ROV back to the surface, wound up the tether, packed up the box, and made my way back down the dock. Special thanks to everybody who works at Washington State Ferry letting us get to and from the island of our dreams. Thanks again to SoFar for making the Trident ROV. The music for this episode was produced by Dominic Walshko. I'm James Hyde. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.